What is up, planet? It is the priest, and I'm back with a surprise pick a card reading. So, so a few of you guys reached out on my DM and said that if you could vote, you would vote. So I was inspired to do this pick a card reading today. Um, I even wrote on the back of another deck. That's how inspired I was. So I'm really excited to bring this stuck in love reading to you guys. What we're going to be doing is focusing on how they feel about you currently. So this is probably going to be more so driven towards the love reading. So remember to just choose the deck that you feel most drawn to. And if you're drawn to two, then you can definitely listen to both and see which resonates. Always make sure that you take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. There are a lot of you who are going to be choosing the deck. So I just want to make sure that you're taking what resonates. So some of you guys, like I'm getting really good vibes. Like I have honeymoon at the bottom of the deck, enjoying holiday time together. So some of you guys are definitely going to be um, in union with someone very, very soon. So let's see what you guys have in store for love. We're also going to be looking at channel messages from this person. So really getting down to the truth of how this person feels. So we're going to be connecting with their higher self and receiving what their heart has to say, not really what their ego has to say, but we're going to be looking at two different perspectives here. We have four different decks you can choose from. Deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. All right, let's see what your guys' this person has to say to you, messages from this person and how they are currently feeling. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and how your person currently feels about you. So this is gonna be the person that you're thinking of. So the first question I asked was, what does this connection bring to you in a positive way? We have creativity. So whoever this person is, they definitely inspire you to be creative. So you guys do have a very creative connection. Um, but this also means like a very soul dreaming connection. So you guys could have talked about some of these dreams that you're looking forward to, some of these visions, um, some of your goals in life, some of your beliefs you could have shared with this person. Okay. Lots of visions and dreams that you guys could have, could have of the future with this person, which really gives you so much hope. That's what I'm seeing here. Forgiveness. I forgive myself and I am forgiven. And then also what you guys have is a positive outlook. So that's what this relationship is giving you is a positive outlook. But I also feel like there could definitely be a lot of challenges between you two, okay? Most of it is just maybe history. You guys could have history with this person. You don't have to. We have compassionate, compassion and content. Okay, so there's a lot of compassion in this relationship, a lot of intimacy in this relationship. So when you think of the relationship, you think of the good, it's, it gives you nothing but a positive perspective, okay? But I can definitely see that someone is guarded. We have walls are up, boundaries and limits, and complications and struggles to make it through. Yeah, so you guys have definitely been through a lot. This would be a very impactful connection that you have with this person. So what we're going to be looking for is major arcanas. If any of those major arcanas come out, that's just a sign that this is um, someone who's significant. I don't really like to use the labels, but most, in, most of the time it's like a really deep connection, a twin connection. I just seen the moon here and there were twins. So I definitely feel like this is a strong connection. All that means is that this was something that really impacted you. Okay, give me the current energy between this person, these two. How does this person currently feel about the person that's listening? Thank you. How do they feel? So this person definitely looks up to you in a sense. Okay, you guys definitely, for some of you, there's a lot of history here. I do sense that there is history or it feels like you guys have a lot of history, a lot of passion, a lot of intimacy here. I'm seeing a lot of just the connection is very fiery. Like I feel the intenseness, but I also feel like that has created a lot of complications as well um, in this, which is why we have the forgiveness card. Now let's see how this person feels about you truthfully. They could say we're just taking uprights, no reversals. So yeah, you guys could just have history, not wanting to let that go. And also just the compassion here. What would this person tell? Thank you. We have trust issues. What would this person say to the person listening? Not ready. What else would they say? 
There's a lot. Either you guys have been through a lot or this person has just been through a lot. I should be honest here, forgiving and learning. So there's a lot of forgiveness that is required here. And the forgiveness is just being able to see it from their perspective is what I'm getting. We have guilt at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what else, how they're feeling. Someone could be feeling guilty. I feel like this person could have guilt maybe because they're not ready, okay? It's more so of needing time to trust. And this trust also allows them to be honest with themselves and with you. Restoration of life or transformation. So yeah, both of you, because of this intense connection, I feel like you two are being led to definitely turn in. Let's see what this is about. Let's see what's the what's the forgiveness coming from? Where is this coming from for deck one? With this connection, thank you. Comparison. So yeah, just judgment, expectations of one another, not meeting that. Okay, let's see what else they would say if they could. Um, someone could definitely be an Aries. I feel like we had another sign here. No, we didn't. Impulsive, unreliable. So someone is definitely feeling like either they're just not ready to give you what it is that you're wanting. Maybe that you're waiting because you have this vision. You have a positive outlook. There definitely, there is some comparison with one another, some reflections going on here, some projections also. Um, but I'm seeing guarded and then also just going through this transformation. We're going to get clarity on what that is before. Yeah, because I'm seeing feeling secure in your environment. Confidence is key. So some of you are looking to find some type of security so that you don't have to, or this person doesn't want to have to depend on others or vice versa. Let's see again. How is this person currently feeling about the person that chose this deck? How are they currently feeling? Thank you. Yeah. I'm definitely feeling like they could be focusing on their finances here with the queen of pentacles moving forward towards some type of endeavor here that is all about success so we have the queen of pentacles and then also just security this person wants to feel secure you want to feel secure you guys are both asking for the same thing but it's requiring both of you to have it within to be able to bring it to the other person anything else here what is this major event yeah, the magician. See, because we still didn't have any major, um, we didn't have any major arcanas here just yet. And now we have the magician. And so this is teaching you that you can manifest and have whatever it is that you want. Why is the, man, the magician here? So yeah, this person could definitely be trying to manifest and move forward. Again, they're de definitely just focusing on their career. They're focusing on their foundation, their stability, their independence, being able to provide something. There's a, it feels like there's some insecurities on their behalf here that I'm sensing. Um, and they want to be able to provide you some type of stability. Why else is the magician here? Yeah, temperance. So we have Sagittarius energy. You don't have to be. Um, and now we also have the queen of cups, okay? So I definitely feel like this person is focused on their happiness and connecting back with themselves to find balance. So you did teach this person a lot. What, what would this person say to the one listening who chose this deck? Thank you. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So someone is not being their true self here. And it's like, you guys have to go on this journey so that you can evolve and become your true self. Now, this person definitely triggered something in you to do so, but I'm sensing at the back, it says, I want to see you. We have deception. So definitely take this with caution. We also have thinking about you. So this person is thinking about you. And then we have, you make me happy, love yourself first. So this person is learning to love themselves with, so that the dependency on you making them happy or bringing them whatever you have been giving, okay? What's, what's the blockage in this connection? Whatever you've been giving, yeah. New perspective here. So you guys did have like a past life connection here. We have this. So it could have felt very intense, but there needs to be some more security. So there's less dependency I'm seeing. 
Um, this person definitely feels very strongly about you. They feel like you make them happy, obviously, but they're st still learning more about themselves so that they could be more authentic with you. And so even with this compassion and this content, they really do care about you. I feel like you have changed their life in many, many ways. And right now it's like they're, partic they're not participating as much or can they participate when they're looking to find their own independence here. Otherwise, it creates a conflict. So I'm definitely sensing that this person needs some type of balance. Let's get one more message from them. If they could say anything to deck one, what would they say? Thank you. I'm hiding my true feelings, finances, and career. Yeah, so financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. It's like this person has to evolve or you have to uh, settle for some of the cycles that have been coming. I'm hiding my true feelings. I feel you. So this person definitely feels you. And it is a connection for sure. It is a connection that is very strong. I feel like it's teaching you a lot and has taught you a lot. And so what this is now saying is that you have this vision of this person, but they're not ready. Let's see what else spirit wants you to know about this person to get the last message because they're definitely feeling you they feel the same but there's like more expertise more experience that i'm feeling that this person is required to be able to bring balance to this relationship spirit if you could tell deck one anything what would it be about this connection whoa romance cupid arrow strike so definitely something could spark up again a new beginning with a few of you i can see that there is romance still here where the cupid's arrow can strike um, but we also have, it is important to step, take a step back right now and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Um, so not criticizing each other, but just allowing things to kind of unfold naturally. Um, that's what I'm definitely seeing is to take a step back so that both parties can bring their guards down. Also, I'm hearing so that you guys can flow naturally and express how you feel naturally. But I do see that there could be another contender on the outside and that's why we have Cupid's arrow. Let's get one more card for that to confirm. Thank you. A message for you. So yeah, we have at the bottom of the deck, twin flames, reflection. I can't even make this up if I wanted to. So I definitely felt that with the energy here that this is a very powerful connection. You could have even been drawn to another deck, but I'm definitely seeing that this was a connection that ignited two people, okay? And now it's like there's some period of evolving that's required for the foundation, but this person would want you to know that they're thinking of you at this, this very moment. Your love fills them with light and they love you. So this is definitely a clear message of someone who has a lot of emotions for you, but is also trying to find the balance in their own life. So I hope that was insightful enough to give you guys some type of peace and harmony. I'm definitely seeing that placing your focus on yourself is what's going to generate the most happiness for you. So this is what to place your focus on and your positive outlook is still the happiness in your future and understanding that you are generating this and truthfully just desire to share that happiness with another. All right, guys, I'm moving on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and how your person is currently feeling about you. So the benefit of this connection, the sacred woman, so some of you guys could have definitely found this person to be sacred or vice versa. I also feel like this person could have brought a lot to you. So we have inner peace and the sacred woman, and we also have prosperity. So whoever this person is that you're dealing with is definitely going to inspire you to want to do better and also see that you're enough. We have I am enough. And we also have lustful, sexual, joyful abundance, lots of passion here rising above okay rising above mental abuse exhaustion okay we have some very heavy energies as you can see okay let's see what spirit wants you to know about this connection okay spirit, give me the messages for the people thank you watching page of cups there's definitely love here okay we have the page of cups this is an offering. Um, now, I'm going to be clear about this love first before I get into there's definitely love here because I'm sensing to backtrack in the sense of there is love like this person does understand how you feel like the Page of Cups and senses that, 
Okay. But I'm also seeing that this person could really be inspiring you to freedom. Lots of freedom. We have Scorpio energy here. You don't have to be last card for this connection. Okay. We have five of swords. Okay. There seems to be a lot of conflict here. Um, with this connection, whoever it is that you're asking about, we have someone who is feeling like deceit. Someone in this connection is feeling very deceited, not knowing what to do. Um, this feels exhausting. Um, and I definitely feel like what spirit is doing is trying to rise above. I hear the Phoenix. So this is really, really showing you even more of who you are and what you want and what you deserve. Even with the healing crystals, I see that some of you could be even lighting candles to clear some of this energy. And this person, if anything, shows you who you are. They are mirroring who you are. And that's where there seems to be this attraction. Okay. I definitely feel like with prosperity, this, pe this person could be teaching you a lot of about your prosperity. Um, whoever this person is that you're asking about, I definitely feel like there is some resistance. Okay, so let's see what they would say if they could. Deck two, love yourself first. Okay, we have you make me happy. So this person could definitely feel happiness with you or just around you feel like you're a happy person, um, bring good spirit and energy to you. Thank you. Do you love me? So I definitely feel like someone is questioning um, this. You can be asking this or could have asked this a few times, or maybe this person is questioning if you do. Um, they're definitely thinking about you at this moment. I'm definitely feeling that they're thinking about you. Let's get some more energy here between you two. How is this person currently feeling about the one asking? How is this person currently feeling? Yeah. How is this person currently feeling? Yeah, there seems to be some confliction on... Could be like competition, couldn't be not wanting a commitment, not wanting something more, not really knowing how to express that, okay? This person definitely either is abundant or has an abundant energy, okay? They feel that even with you that there is some things in common here, but if anything, this is teaching you that you are enough. I'm sensing to ask even for more. Let's see how this person currently feels about the one asking. Okay, we have five of cups. Yeah, so this, I don't know how far, because there's a lot of you guys, you guys have went, but I'm definitely sensing here that there could be some regret. And I, I'm not seeing that you guys are going to this passionate place just yet. Like there's some resistance here, okay? So either this person is holding on to something else Okay, let's get more about on this person, how they're feeling about the person, because they're very confused here. And the tower, something has happened. A revelation is going to come forth with this connection with you. How does the person that they're asking about feel? What would they say? I'm learning honesty, flirt. So someone could be trying to flirt. Okay, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Are you real? Okay, so I definitely feel like this could either be a crush or someone who is has definitely been thinking about you. For some of you, this is someone who's been thinking about you, think about them, and you have not went to that base, and that's something that you, either one of you really wants, or this person is not really trying to be in any relationship. I'm getting that very strongly that they're not trying to um, really settle down. Like there is like this push and pull from them where there is a little bit of a competition here with the seven of wands, okay? And I'm interested in knowing what you're learning about this connection, okay? This person is definitely guarded and very conflicted. They're very guarded, even with getting to their real feelings. Yeah, look at that, totality five. So this is another five, five, five. This is confliction. The five represents adversity, okay? Lots of conflict here, but there is like a connection. There is something there that you guys have been feeling, all right? Now, this connection doesn't have to be a partnership. This could be someone that you really connect with and could be a soulmate. So someone that's part of your tribe that isn't intended on being a life partner at this time, but is certainly a part of your tribe. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing that you're, some of this is being released here. Um, 
because this was bringing a lack of peace. I feel like even for you guys to understand that you deserve peace. <clears throat> Messages, spirit for deck two, what you want them to know, okay? Soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So some of you are manifesting another soulmate because of this relationship has inspired you to open up to another soulmate here, including we have two soulmate cards here, the friendliness. So there definitely is this connection that you guys have. It says deep in your heart, you already know the answer, do what feels right. So spirit is really giving you this opportunity to do what feels right. I do sense that you have a magnetic uh, energy around you that is really, I guess people can say it's very flirty or maybe they get the wrong impression because I sense that you do have this seduction to you that people do see and do admire. But this person, it seems like they're not focused entirely directly on you right now, okay? So they're learning honesty. They're learning how to communicate these things. Now, any other messages from this person? Okay. For the person watching this, what else would this person say? Okay. Express your love. So some of you could have just expressed your love or wanting to express your love. And it says, I have patterns or habits. Okay. So definitely that's what I'm getting here with one or the other, whether you or them, take it how it resonates, has these patterns that are creating this exhaustion with making um, the love situations work. Because you can see all of the red, it's a lot of conflict with getting this to come together. And so basically, as you're evolving and growing, you're going to attract people on your frequency. So it's very important that any habit maybe that you have that's attracting a certain type of person is broken so that spirit can bring this partner in let's see what the because yeah i'm seeing even with the nine of cups you do have a wish fulfillment coming in but honesty is so big i'm hearing spirits say that honesty should be the most important thing in the foundation of any relationship just the honesty anything else you want them to know spirit deck two how this person is currently feeling about deck two judgment in reverse yeah so this person definitely is provoking you. We have the eight of swords. Yeah, spirit is saying, you know, with freeing yourself, um, doing what makes you feel free, basically. Okay, so that's part of your judgment. This person helped like really, really in the evolving process. Like there was definitely and is still this spark of a connection because you guys do share the same vision or ideas or the same soul dreams, okay? Sometimes that can be so alluring and impactful because you're you're actually seeing someone just like you, you and another person. But I'm sensing that the judgment, the time will come so that you can, it seems like there's, you know, have positivity in your love life and also see that um, this is coming from your evolution as you evolve and you say no to certain things, you set your boundaries, then other relationships are coming in. And I don't think that you're really focused on a, a relationship at the time or another relationship, but I am sensing that this is something that's really important to your mission is to know that you do deserve love and you do deserve to be with someone who reciprocates that love and happiness. So that's something that I'm definitely feeling here. Last message from spirit. Last message from spirit. I'm hearing not to be impulsive, not to force anything. Okay. Surrender. Yep. Embrace through each other. Find the missing pieces. See and ask spirit to reveal why you are so connected to this person and let them reveal that dream. Let them reveal that message. Okay. Even at the bottom of the deck, it says, I need space. Okay. Whoever this person is, they're wanting space. But for you, what I'm sensing is spirit is saying to embrace each other. So messages for the person watching regarding this person. What do you want them to know, spirit? playfulness. Okay. So just to take it easy, not to force, not to be serious. Cause that's, you know, with this person, I definitely feel like that's something is they're not really trying to have this commitment. There is a little bit of fear here that I'm feeling. And I'm also just seeing that, you know, there is a reflection that you're seeing in this person that you love, right? That, that feeling that you love about them is also something within yourself that is true to you. So you were really just falling in love with more and more of yourself. This person was just reflecting that to you. And so there became this even more connection here. But I'm sensing 
even with another red card, a lot more energy of just playfulness and ease. Okay. And allow these relationships to unfold is what I'm seeing for you. Deck number two. So I hope this was able to give you some insight into some peace. I'm wishing you guys the most. Remember, you deserve love. You deserve happiness and everything that you are desiring. All right, I'm moving on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading in how is your person currently feeling about you? So the beauty of this connection, spiritual maturity. So this is a very heavy spiritual connection I'm sensing also very passionate connection so you guys are definitely connected in the 5d you're connected in even higher dimensions so if you're able to dream of one another this is also a sign that this person you are connected with them in in their dreams even so forth sexuality we definitely have a lot of passion like i was saying earlier um, i was seeing the king of wands at the bottom so i definitely feel like this person is very passionate about you um, they definitely love that you embrace this feminine side of you. So it doesn't matter if you're male or male or female, it does not matter. This is more of the feminine aspect of being open, being embraceive. This is Empress energy um, and just being vulnerable. Like that's something that I'm definitely seeing that you guys are learning um, is to have this for one another, this expression of how you feel for one another. That's really big here. Knowledge. So there's a lot of knowledge here. In this connection, a lot of wisdom. I definitely feel like, like I said, you guys are connected in the 5D for sure with the spiritual maturity. So there is this sense of like an intellectual, sapiosexual, uh, romantic relationship here. If, if it is a relationship, we're going to see. Give me the general energy for the person asking. And the person that they're asking about. Thank you. Yeah, we have the two of cups. We're not taking reversals. So yeah, this is definitely a soulmate. Definitely, definitely connection here. Very intimate. Very, very heavy, intense energy. So you guys could be in separation right now. You don't have to be. Okay, take it how it resonates. We also have the hermit. We have Virgo energy here, okay? As you see, it's a lot of passion. We have someone on the sidelines here and someone that's romantically connected. So someone's sitting this one out is what I'm hearing. Like it could be your person, it could be you. And they're just like, I'm sitting this one out. But how this person feels about you, very intimate connection here. Um, very, wherever the connection is, it's, it's sexual and it's also very passionate, okay? But I do see that there is some confusion here. There's some back and forth with the twos. And then even with the hermit, so the hermits, whoever's sitting it out, there could be distance, like I said. There could also be history between you two. Um, if not here, definitely in the 5D, so you can feel like you've met them before. Uh, so we have free spirit, freedom flowing. So this person definitely feels like you're a free spirit or they're free spirit. So the best way for this connection to work is if it's just no expectations, freeing both people are just open and free so open that they can communicate their desires their wants this person feels like they want to trust you like you guys want to have these deep um, and could have already had these deep conversations here over the table um, some of you could have been experiencing very beautiful moments or have had visions and dreams of beautiful moments with this person there's a lot of emotions here from them Sphinx, so we have cunning, clever, manipulation. So there's a lot of trust issues here. We have Aquarius energy. You have that uniqueness that people look for but can't find. So this person feels, it's almost like you guys feel the same way about each other. It feels like a lot of twin reflection energy. So this means that, again, this is spiritual connection, like evolution. You guys have learned a lot from this person and vice versa. But there is a lack of trust here because we do have manipulation now, this person feels like you're unique. They feel like you're very rare. And they they see that. Like, they see you. Let's see how this person feels about you. How does their person feel about them? Person listening. Don't wait for me. So this person is saying not to wait for them. loss without you it's too soon so this person's if see again i feel like you guys 
have been in separation or have, again, this could be take it how it resonates, love reading so many of you guys. So this is a soulmate connection, okay, for many of you. But I'm seeing this person feels lost without you, can't find my way. You know, that's what I'm feeling here. Aquarius is definitely freedom. Um, this person desires to be free. I'm definitely seeing they want to be free. It's too soon. And they're saying not to wait for them. So it's like, it's a painful situation because there's a lot of passion here to just let go of. And so to not wait, let's see what else they have to say. Do you love me? So this person is questioning whether or not you love them. Okay. Trust issues. How'd I get back in there? Dang. So you guys could have been going back and forth between the red. So I definitely would listen because there's some similarities here for sure. I don't know how to express it. So this person is saying, I don't know how to express it. I don't know how to tell you how I feel. Um, so instead, just don't wait for me. Um, definitely have some, some opening up to do. This person is working on embracing more feminine energy. I feel like that's something you brought to the table for sure. So this person is, you know, trying to be more open to receiving how you feel. Okay. They're trying to be more compassionate. Um, and I see that at the bottom, I love your vibe. This person really does love you. They feel like you're one of a kind. They feel like you're rare. Um, definitely feels like you guys have known each other for some time. We have a lot of Egyptian energy. The pyramids of Giza is here. So that's like a rare situation. So, you know, that's something very heavy that this person is displaying. Destroy your big ego, but there is some downsides to it. So it could be when the highs are high, lows are low. Um, that's also significant for a twin relationship. But again, I don't like to label it. I'm just saying twin because this person ignites you, okay? They have a lot. You guys have a lot that you are alike in. Seeing a lot in common here. But something, the big ego, let's see what that's about. All right, spirit, deck three. What does deck three need to know about this ego? Someone's got a big ego. Okay, could be both because you guys are obviously the same in a sense. Um, magician. So both of you guys are definitely focusing on um, manifesting your, your pathway. If you're somehow still listening and you're in a relationship with someone, like you're actually like talking in a relationship, I definitely see that you guys are even working on a healthy balance of just individual happiness. And sometimes that takes separation. So I'm seeing that you guys are working on your uh, manifestations and what you want to happen. So this person is focused on that as well. What's going on with the ego? Yeah, so something definitely could have happened here with the thunderbolt, it's in reverse. So it could have been just divine. Lots of trust issues, lots of trust issues, okay? Lots of Drake energy, lots of trust issues. We have seven here, which is the betrayal card. Exhaustion, someone's exhausted with trying to make this work, okay? But let's see what you're holding on to because obviously there's something so beautiful about this connection that both of you guys feel. What is that spirit? Blessings. So yeah, 44. So you could see 11, 11, 44, or you can see 44, 44, 444, you know, it doesn't matter. That just means you guys do have a connection beyond the 3D. So that would just mean that you guys receive blessings or this person was a blessing or you were a blessing. So you don't want to kind of let go of that. But I'm sensing that there is definitely some growth here that's required to kind of mend and get back to this space of a firm foundation. Okay. And the ego is just exhausting things I'm seeing. And then also bringing just lack of trust in the situation. So the big ego is getting in the way of being able to trust one another. Okay, we're going to clarify why the Two of Cups is here for this, how this person currently feels, why the Two of Cups is here. Clarify. Queen of Wands. Okay, so yeah, they could definitely feel that you're very inspiring, very creative. So they definitely can feel with the Queen of Wands that you're very expressive, you're very creative, um, uh, very powerful also, because I see that you're manifesting some things. Why is the Queen here? And this could be them as well. Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands. They're a little bit indecisive right now. It looks like they're 
how they're feeling about you is just taking some time to think about how they feel about you. That's kind of what I'm sensing here. So they're trying to tune in here, really connect with themselves, um, not really focus on other contenders. I don't see that this person is trying to be um, with other contenders. Like I said, they're to themselves. They are really in hermit mode. Whoever this person is, they're really in hermit mode. And they're really, when they say I'm working on myself, they're really saying that. Like they're working on why they don't have trust issues, justice. Yeah, so they're working on getting the justice for themselves. Okay, I feel like you just kind of brought this out of them. So I do see that it's going to take time to kind of clear this energy here. Um, but they definitely did want or still do want something with you with the Ten of Pentacles. This is a family here. Um, this is, you know, marriage. You guys could have definitely had this vision together of just sharing that. Let's get one more card for how this person feels. Yeah, we have missing you at the bottom. How do they feel about the person that chose this deck? One more card for the why the Ten of Pentacles is here. How do they truly feel? Playfulness, yeah. To I think I got that in the first deck too. So I definitely feel like you guys, and even Honeymoon, like things are on hold right now. You guys may, I, may have had beautiful visions that in plans even. Some of you guys even planned but I'm seeing to kind of recapture this, the playfulness is here. It says can't settle down. So I definitely feel like this person, I don't feel like they want to be in a relationship, but it's not that they want to be out here doing other things. I'm sensing that they are definitely connecting and tuning in this time. And I don't know why I'm saying this time for some of you, but I definitely sense that. So what does spirit want you to know about this person in connection? Thank you. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. So this is what you guys are learning in balancey. Um, a lot of the times the twin situation, if you guys do resonate with that, it's a lot of codependency, a lot of becoming your own source of love and happiness, a lot of uh, transmutation, a lot of that. So this is what you're learning is just allowing it space and trusting that when it comes into the right timing, if it comes into that timing, it will come into that space. Okay. Yeah. The past is behind you. Embrace new possibilities. So there's new possibilities for you. You guys have a sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship, but it does not have to be in the relationship form that you're wanting right now for you to find that happiness. Because again, you're not going to wait for them and vice versa. And you may even feel that way. So I'm definitely sensing that. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and how the person that you're asking about or how your person currently feels about you. I hope I was able to bring you some clarity. I definitely feel like there's a lot of beauty that's in this connection, but also a lot of wisdom that you've learned from this connection. So moving on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and how your person currently feels about you. So what this connection has that's beautiful to offer manifestation luminosity so it really did highlight and bring out some of the beauties in life maybe some of you guys were not even expecting this let's get the general energy for you too how does this person currently feel about the person asking thank you the fool four of wands there's definitely a connection here. They cannot lie about that. They definitely have been thinking about that. One of you are, are definitely thinking about that. Okay. And then we also have death Scorpio energy. Um, we got some very interesting energy coming through. Current connection between these two, the person that they're asking about. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Somebody's definitely romanticizing, fantasizing, but there's a lot of people involved here. That's what I'm getting. Too many people in the kitchen, like too many opinions, too many, um, too many different say-sos about this connection because we have death, we have old people kind of showing up here. And I definitely feel like, yeah, for sure, relaxation. Okay, protection, good health. And we also have Taurus energy and Capricorn energy. So lots of earthly energy here with how this person feels. Now, some of you guys could definitely have 
for a few of you could definitely have talked about marriage or mar being married at all or thought about that with the four of wands here. Okay, someone is definitely feeling like they want to take a risk, but some of you I'm feeling like are preferring to be by yourself in a sense. Like I definitely feel like you could be out here experimenting. Let's just see what this person has to say. I moved on. Okay. What does this person have to say? Yeah, I feel like it's that the other person, sorry, that's experimenting. Okay. So that brings it. I'm lucky you found me. So this person feels like they're lucky that you found them. Um, you make my heart sing. So there was definitely, there's some confusion back and forth here. Okay. We have dreaming of you, not ready. And then the chemistry in reverse. So I definitely feel like whoever this person is could have moved on and they are definitely experimenting. And someone, I don't know if this is you, there's someone who's reminiscing about this. And I want to see how this person truly feels about you. How do they truly feel about the person? Possibilities. Yeah, they. it's like they've made a decision. Um, awareness. To keep their options open. Okay. Business matters. Focusing on some of their practical matters. Focusing on, you know, even here with the full card, we have people in the back. They're literally making love. This person is focused. Okay. They are not focused on settling down. Now, the Four of Wands, let's clarify why that's here. Why is the Four of Wands here? Thank you. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this person could definitely have already been married, could be engaged, could been in a relationship, could still be in a relationship, could have jumped into a relationship, okay? Um, and I'm definitely seeing there's a lot of different energies that are, that is going on here. Now with the queen of pentacles, I feel like some of you could be manifesting another person, okay? Because this feels very different to me. We have the manifestation here. This person highlighted many, many things. Let's see what they highlighted. Five of pentacles, okay? And then we also have the knight of swords, okay? I feel like this person has taught you a lot about what you do want. I also feel like some of you are finding peace with this and will find peace with this very, very quickly here. Okay. We have creative imagination. So yeah, this person sparks something within you, whoever it is, this person that you're thinking about, how to use your person feel. If this is not a love situation, this could even be a family member, someone really close to you. Um, but I'm definitely sensing secure, stable, and supportive that this person is feeling like they're already like in this committed relationship or they're trying to move forward here. Could be someone that they've been going back and forth with, um, but they still feel like they're lucky that you have found them. So let's go ahead and get some clarity. How else does this person feel? Because I see that they're not ready. They need space. Thank you. I want you. You are my son attraction. I want to be free. So definitely this person still has some type of attraction towards you. I'm sensing like they could even still think about you. They can even still reminisce in a sense, but I'm also seeing that they're focused so much on being stable, being supportive to whoever they are, that they're not focused on a commitment, but they still do want like they want to have their cake and eat it too is what I'm seeing here. I want you, but I want to be free. You brought a lot of happiness to this person. Okay, they feel like you brought a lot of happiness. Let's get some more insight. More insight on how this person truly feels about the person asking. Thank you. Yeah, they're definitely contemplating on their next life plan. They're thinking about a lot, like if they even want to live in the same place, stay at the same job, they have a lot going on here. Okay. So that's what I'm sensing. They need space from is a lot, just having a lot going on. And then I also see the wheel here. So I definitely feel like this person doesn't want to get into cycles. They care a lot about just success and where they're going. Um, maybe this is something new to them, but I do see a lot of practical energy here. So I see that this person is focused on practical matters. Thank you. Knight of swords. And they're, they're running after something like it could be a dream. Um, and I'm, I'm sensing that it, it's not the right time. It's more of a timing situation too. 
Like it's more of a timing situation because they definitely feel like you bring them happiness and they're lucky that you found them, but they are just moved on to like their another dream or another vision. Okay, we have two of swords and then we have the ten of cups. And you know, some of them are saying they've moved on and some of them are actually in relationships. I'm seeing they if they did jump into a relationship for those of you who are with this person, then that's definitely showing you that they still have um codependent ways about them that were not helping or benefiting this connection at all. We have the chariot here, so I definitely think that things are going to be moving forward. This is also cancer energy. So I'm sensing that there's going to be some opening up here. It feels like very soon. I feel like there's going to be some opening up, some closure here so that you can manifest who you really want to be with. Okay. Because I'm sensing that this is definitely for some of you, this person wants to be in a relationship, um, but just doesn't want to really focus their time or attention onto it. Anything else from this person? Yeah, they're focused on manifestation. <clears throat> and I feel like you guys even might be focused on manifestation. We have the magician here, and then we also have abundance. So definitely feels like there is a lot of love here, a lot of gratitude here. And it seems like more of a timing situation with this person. So they feel like they care a lot about you, but are focused on other matters right now in the sense of a relationship, okay? So this person definitely, I'm seeing some of them are even in committed relationships, okay? So take this how it resonates for sure. All right, let's just see what spirit wants you to know about this person. Thank you. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are your, also your own reflection. So yeah, this, this is definitely teaching you a lot. Um, some of it is definitely clearing karmic cycles to have attracted this person. I'm definitely feeling that. But you're learning a lot about even yourself because of this time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, it feels like a timing situation. Like both of these things kind of have to click into place for the frequency to align. Anything else for deck four? Okay, this person is definitely dreaming of you. They feel the same way. It's just that timing and the commitment. Some of them not wanting to settle down. Some of them already jumping on and moving on. Um, you'll know based on if you know th that resonates or not. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So some of you spirits, like you don't have to even settle for this. Um, you're embracing a lot about yourself in this person, but learning a lot of what you don't learning a lot about what you don't want and more about what you do want. So if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and how your person is currently feeling about you. Thank you so much for letting me guide you guys in this reading. I look forward to more love readings in the future. Love and light.